Hi, I'm Rabbi Aaron Bergman from Adat Shalom Synagogue, and I'd like to share with you a few ideas about how to have a happier and more meaningful high holiday experience that makes sense for you and that works for who you are. So I'd like to start first though with the story from when I was in rabbinical school. I had a professor of Bible, and he asked us, what does the Bible say? And we all had this idea, maybe it's uh, the Ten Commandments or the Shema. And what he did is he picked up a copy of the Bible and he goes, It doesn't say anything all by itself. It's really the reader and the book together that create meaning. And this is one of the ways I want people to be able to think about the High Holidays is that the Moxor, the High Holiday Prayer Book, is a big book. It's got a lot of words, a lot of pages. I will tell you, I have never in my entire life read every single word of the service because there's so many um, it almost doesn't make sense to be able to have that much going on at one time. But I will also say there are parts of it that I don't like. There are words that don't mean a lot to me now. There are words I find very difficult. There are words I find uh, painful. And there are also a lot of words that I find very inspiring. So one of the things I do during services is I sometimes just look at the ones I like and I kind of skip over the ones uh, that I don't like. And I think this is something that's very important for people to know. The holidays are there for you to grow as a person. And whatever way that makes sense for you is the right way to do it. So when you come into services, you can follow along in the Moxor. You can find a page you like. Or honestly, you can just sit quietly and think about your year. Uh, we spend a lot of time talking about the word repentance. Uh, but repentance in English is actually kind of a harsh word. It means regret. It means to look back on all the sins in your life. Uh, in Hebrew, we use the word tshuva, which means an answer. It means return. It means to think about not just what you maybe regret from the past year, but what were the things that you did well during the past year as well, to think about all the good that you may have also done. So one of the things that we try to do during the high holiday season is to think about who are we really? What is our true nature? And in Judaism, we believe that our true nature actually is goodness, just sometimes it gets blocked by a lot of other things in our lives. So I welcome you when you come into services, come for as long as you want, leave for as long as you want, come back again, follow the service. You can even bring your own book something that's meaningful to you. But what matters is that you're trying to create a connection to who you are and to what matters to you. And then this way to grow and connect to others and help the people you love find their best selves as well. So I hope that you have a very sweet and happy and meaningful new year. Shana Tova.